If it were up to each of us to own, operate, maintain, and support a business, it'd be extremely difficult to do it all on our own. Building a strong team around you and then nurturing that team and molding that team to be in sync can be the difference between growth and stagnation in your business. So let's look at that this week at how to build a strong team. You're watching the Chambers Quick Tip. You're watching the Chambers Quick Tip. And now here's your host, Brian Rossman. So leading a team is something that almost every one of us will one day find ourselves in charge of. And the key to building a great team is to build trust. And there are several factors that go in to building trust. And today we're gonna to take a look at four of those. The first one is, is really about your team relying on your competence. Your team relies on your competence. They, they need to see that you are very good at what you do. Somebody once told me that once your team sees you succeed at something, then they believe they can do the same too. You need to show an authentic concern for each team member on your team. Showing true empathy, interest, and concern for your team members in an authentic way will show them that you truly care about them as a person and a team member. Reliability builds trust over time. Another word here would be consistency, always doing what you say you will do and then immediately owning up if you might not do what you say you're gonna do. Honesty is extremely important when you're building trust. And the final one is spending time together connecting. Spending time with the people on your team so that you can get to know them better creates stronger bonds. And the, and the stronger the bond, it's the harder it is for outside and inside influences to break your team apart. These things do not happen by chance. You have to create a plan where you find a way to demonstrate competence and concern, prove that you're reliable, and set aside time to talk with and get to know your team on a personal level. Now this doesn't mean that you need to be their best friend or your therapist, simply that you need to get to know them more as an individual uh, rather than just an employee. So thanks for watching this week and we'll see you right back here next week on the Chambers Quick Tip. <laughs>